Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I'm so glad you're here with us today. Today we are going to make some poor man's nitric acid and let's get to it. Here is our setup in the background on the table. You can see that we have a large bag of baking soda. We should always have plenty of baking soda around us for emergencies. Baking soda and distilled water will help neutralize most acids should we get any acid on our cells. For our project today, we have some distilled water, some hydrochloric acid, some potassium nitrate, and some copper. Today we are making nitric acid. Nitric acid is an extremely useful acid capable of dissolving copper and silver. Today we are going to make a weak version of nitric acid. First, let's add 80 grams of a nitrate salt. Today we are using potassium nitrate. You can use sodium nitrate and you can also use ammonium nitrate. Next, let's get at least 32 grams of copper and prepare it for our project. We have two small beakers, each holding 50 milliliters of distilled water. We will need 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Now we will add in 50 milliliters of distilled water to our nitrate and we'll do our best to dissolve it the best we can. The temperature on our heart plate is set at low and this process took about five or six minutes. Then carefully add 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and give it several minutes to settle. Take 50 milliliters of distilled water and pour it into the larger container. Then place the acid mixture container inside the larger container. Now add at least 32 grams of copper and pour it into the acid mixture container. Now place a container large enough to fit over the inner container, but small enough to fit inside the outer container into the apparatus. The copper reacts to the hydrochloric acid and the nitrate mixture to generate nitrogen dioxide gas that flows out and is forced into the water mixture and dissolves and produces nitric acid. It's not very efficient, but it works. As our solution begins to boil and our inner container begins to vibrate, I set a larger glass cup on top of the inner container to keep it from vibrating. It's been an hour and now we're going to take out both inner containers and pour out the nitric acid. And here is the really weak nitric acid, but it works. It's a little green because it is contaminated with the reaction mixture that had splashed out. Only nitric acid can dissolve copper.
Well, this wraps up our experiment on making our poor man's nitric acid. And I just want to encourage you, should you try this, to keep yourself safe, take all your safety precautions, and be safe and protect others as well. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, smash that like button and share this on your channel so others can enjoy the process. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I want to encourage you to subscribe and to become part of our AU family. We are so thankful that you're here and we appreciate your support and we will see you on the next one.